بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. We have to exhort one another to do good, and we have to exhort all of humanity to rise up together and put their wealth and spend their wealth in goodness. Look at the people that are suffering in Somalia, for example, but in fact all around the world. And this is not a call. To, for just the sake of supporting Somalis or the sake of supporting any particular uh, group of people except for those people who suffer except for those people who do not even have a not even a grain or a morsel of food to put in their stomachs those people who are so far impoverished that they have to choose which children they're going to abandon this day as they move from village and village Uh, village to village in search of food. This is what we're calling to. This is the class and group of human beings that we are talking about helping and assisting. And for us as Muslims, this is a blessed month to do so. So find those charities and those institutions that are supporting righteous causes and supporting uh, the poor and the fuqara and the musaqeen and that are spending on their behalf and you, and you are in hopes that your money will reach them, then support those charities. Even if it's something small. Even if you sacrifice that, that one cup of coffee for today. Even if you sacrifice having the as much rice as you are going to have during your breaking of your fast. But rather, set aside two dollars and try to send it and put it in the hands of those people who can make sure that those people who are in desperate need can receive something from it. Let's listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ فَأَمَّا الْإِنسَانَ إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ رَبُّهُ فَأَكْرَمَهُ وَنَعَامَهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَكْرَمًا وَأَمَّا إِذَا مَبْتَلَاهُ فَقَدَّرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقُهُ فَيَقُولُ رَبِّي أَهَانًا كَلَّا بَلْ لَا تُكْرِمُونَ الْيَتِيمِ وَلَا تُحَادُّونَ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this beautiful ayah in the Qur'an He says And as for the person Or as for those people That are tested That when they're tested by their Lord And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bestows his favor And his generosity upon them. They say, my Lord has honored me. And as for those, as for when he is tested, and his wealth, or his provisions are restricted, then he says, my Lord has belittled me, or my Lord has, uh, has humiliated me. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about this individual. He says, or these individuals, he says, then they do not and he says kalla bal la tukrimuna al yatim and they do not honor the person the person who is an orphan they don't help the orphan they don't support the orphan rather they steal and take from the orphan wala tuhaduna ala ta'am al miskin and they do not urge others to feed the poor to feed those people who have less than them or who have nothing so this is an ample opportunity for us to help those in those people who not only have less than us but do not even have anything so we should urge one another if nothing else even if you don't spend one dollar or one real or whatever currency that you use if you don't spend it in order to uh, help and alleviate the suffering that people are suffering in Somalia and other places then at least Invite others to do so. At least urge other one, other people to do so. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا تُحَادُونَ عَلَى تَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ That this is a, a, a quality that the people, uh, that, that evil people possess, miserly people possess, is that they don't encourage others to even feed or help the, the less fortunate. So if you can, and I'm sure many of us can, reach into your pocket, and spend a few dollars, spend a few reals to feed the poor and those who are suffering. 
those people who are so impoverished that you see that they can't, that they have abandoned their very children. Those people who have come from their very loins, they have abandoned their children out of poverty. They have chosen certain children over others because they, they can't feed them. They have nothing to offer them. This one is so weak, I can't begin to carry, carry my, my child to the next uh, station to where we may find water. So I have to abandon it. And I abandon it for the vultures. The vultures hover above my child to partake in it as another meal. As if it were a camel. As if it was a dead dog. Or a dead hyena. Or a dead rat. وَعِيَادٌ billah. This is the state of some of the, our brothers and sisters in humanity. So I urge myself and urge those, uh, urge other people to feed someone, to feed the miskeen, to strive to get your money during this crisis in which 30, we, we have just received news that 30,000 people have died in the past month of starvation in Somalia. So strive your best to feed the poor.